is located in the Bay Area, north of San Francisco, and it's one of California's smallest counties. Marin County invested in land conservation really early on, and some would call it the center of the nation's organic farming movement. Visually, it's stunning and peaceful considering Over the Bridge is one of the liveliest, busiest cities in the United States. In the center of the county is Mount Tamalpais, the highest peak in the Marin Hills, at 2,572 feet. On Marin soil, you have iconic views, including the Golden Gate Bridge lookout, which gives you this really wide scope panoramic view of the bridge. From there, you take Cosman Road towards the ocean. And right before you hit the water, you run into Battery Rathbone McIndoe. Built in 1905, Battery Rathbone is a cluster of historical military structures used to protect the bay entrance from enemy ships. It's super unique to this area. Marin's got a wide variety of different terrain. We've got rocky coastline, we've got green rolling hills that change with the color of the seasons. We've got a lot of open agricultural lands. People are impassioned environmentalists that from the very beginning have protected their land and it shows. That's the reason why we have the open space areas that we have, the national parks. We've got three national parks and we've got state parks, five state parks. When you head north up the coast, you hit the Mirror Beach Overlook right off the Pacific Coast Highway with just an exceptional view of the Big Blue Pacific. interesting locations on the tour was Slide Ranch, located within the Golden Gate National Recreation Area. Slide Ranch was established in 1970. We are part of the Golden Gate National Park. I chose to live here because it reminds me a little bit of the coast of Spain, like the Costa Brava. And uh, I always, I'm from Madrid, where there's no ocean, and I always wanted to be near the sea. We have about 134 acres of beautiful land and it's coastal land, so it's right next to the water. We also have like a beautiful organic garden. It's like an amazing ecosystem. And we utilize like about 10% of the land just for farming. The rest is just wild land. Moving north to the town of Marshall, Along the shorelines of the Tamales Bay, we hit Nick's Cove, which includes a rugged seaside restaurant. The restaurant is equipped with its own quaint 400-foot pier, which takes you out over the Tamales Bay. Just next door are a cluster of rustic cottages, each very uniquely different. It's just such a peaceful place with that small town coastal feel. Down the road from Nick's Cove is the Strauss Home Branch. Marin is a modern miracle because whereas Los Angeles and San Francisco and all these areas have been widely developed and paved over with subdivisions and concrete and asphalt, West Marin especially has been protected through the work of environmentalists and activists and people who just love this place. This place would have been entirely destroyed 40 years ago and it looks like it does today because of the people like my parents and uh, other neighbors and friends. This farm is located directly on Tamales Bay. You know, the property is 166 acres. It was purchased by my father in 1941, a German Jewish refugee who escaped Nazi Europe and his land in California. Available here on this property is this beautiful, restored 150 year old farmhouse where we grew up. This is a 150 year old hay barn, and we just finished a year long restoration. West Marin is a kind of an eclectic mixture, uh, especially these days. There's farmers, artisans, and artists, and craftspeople, and uh, it's a pretty beautiful community. Moving inland to the city of San Rafael, we come to the Falkirk Cultural Center, one of the more hauntingly interesting locations in Marin County. 
This is a beautiful 19th century, 11 acre Queen Anne style estate with just room after room of dark wood and chandeliers. One of my favorite locations in the county was the McAvoy Ranch, which was purchased by Nan McAvoy in 1990. She was the granddaughter of M.H.D. Young, co-founder of the San Francisco newspaper, The Chronicle. So this is a 550 acre approximately piece of property. About 80 acres of it is planted, and that consists of about 14,000 olive trees. So the rest of the property is left to its natural state, which is a sustainable way to manage your property, which is very, very important to the McAvoy family, being great stewards of this beautiful land. We do have one orchard that is particularly unique in that they planted the grapes in between the rows of the olive trees. It's absolutely beautiful. And on the upper ranch, we do have a pavilion, which was the brainchild of Nan McAvoy, the owner of the ranch. It was her dream that she created with the help of architects and artists and taken inspiration from essentially all over the world. So it does have an Asian feel, but it's also very eclectic in its, in its design. to Marin County thinking I was going to be in the woods for three days and was blown away by the depth and detail. It's a place of wonder, life, and grace. Within this small 828 square miles, you are flooded with some of the most glorifying land in the country. You really see that in every project that has utilized Marin County's land and structures.